Hello everybody, my name is Antoni Antoniu and I am Eleftheria Kupari. In this video we will talk about artificial intelligence. More specifically, we are going to explain the research of Mrs. Kari Orfanu, a UCY student that pursues her PhD. Mrs. Orfanu's research is called Integration of Temporal Abstraction with Bayesian Networks, a validation in the field of coronary heart disease. Mrs. Orfanu has chosen this particular subject because the problem of coronary heart disease is very common and many people suffer from it. She wanted to combine the temporal abstraction with the Bayesian networks in order to estimate the risk of coronary heart disease based on patient medical history. The system that already exists can give us information only for one point of the patient's life, but she wanted to create a system that it could provide information for a specific duration of time. She created a directed agiclic graph. The notes of the graph symbolize the lifestyle, personal characteristics of the patient and the diseases that he or she suffers from. The edges on the other hand represent the relation between the nodes. The graph in the example, it might look static, but the light blue edges are related with time slices, whether the blue ones are not. She gathered information from Stulog database. The dataset consisted of 1,417 patients who were monitored for 1 to 24 years. The selected group of patients consisted of 849 patients, of whom 208 had an event. She rejected the ones with less than two examinations or years, since she is working with temporal data. The total observation period is 21 years. She divided the dataset into training and testing using the cross-validation. As you can see, she used five different methods. The best results occurred by dataset D5, which is oversampling using random oversampling technique and clustering undersampling. Her results are far better than those of DBN without temporal abstractions. By considering the results of comparing both proposed models with more standard approaches, she can validate the effectiveness of her proposed integration, which can yield notable performance improvements in medical problem solving. The integration was achieved in two different ways. By integrating a temporal Bayesian network with basic temporal abstractions, for predicting a future coronal heart disease event and by integrating an atemporal Bayesian network with complex temporal abstractions for classifying coronal heart disease event.